Let's take a look at creating custom charts and graphs using Google Sheets. I have a sheet full of district assessment data, and I need to create some custom charts based on this information to uh, share with uh, the uh, team at my school. So let's just take a quick look at the data. Um, Column A are the school districts. We have several districts represented. Column B is the individual school. Then we have the grade level, the number of students who took the test. And then I have the percentage of students who were accelerated, advanced, proficient, basic, limited. The first chart that I want to create is just a very basic summary that says across all school districts, what student what percentage of students scored advanced accelerated proficient etc so to begin i'm going to click in uh, column a1 and i'm going to say insert chart and google is going to look at the data that i have and it's going to present me with its best guess of a chart that might be helpful and sometimes you get lucky sometimes uh, um, the one that it creates is exactly what you need. Now, this one may be helpful, but uh, it's it's far too complex for what I'm looking um, to create at the moment. And so I need to make some changes, some modifications to this. So over on the right, I'm going to look through the chart editor, and we're going to make some adjustments to these fields. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to change my chart type to a pie chart. because That's what I'm looking for. So it's going to readjust my data, but again, far too complex. Um, right now, it's uh, labeling the schools and it's listing the number of students by um, test score. The first thing I want to do is just click some of these bottom buttons here to reshuffle the data to see if I can get closer to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click the switch row column button. And oh, there we go. So before we were using the school districts as the uh, data points, whereas when I switched the columns, now we're using across the top the um, test scores, the categories for our chart. And this is exactly what I needed. We're good, we're all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the name of this. I'm gonna say um, test scores by proficiency. Oh. And we're gonna publish this to a new sheet so that we can get a, a little bigger view of it. We're gonna click the three dots in the right corner and say um, publish, or excuse me, move to own sheet. And that'll put it into our uh, spreadsheet and we'll do some things with this later. So that's the first chart that I wanted to create. The second one is um, I need to create um, a chart for each grade level. So in addition to all grade levels and the proficiency uh, of students. I need to know how did the fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade do, etc. So we're gonna create a new chart and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select um, the data that I'm interested in looking at. So I'm selecting all the fifth grade data. I'm gonna go to insert chart. And again, it's going to try to build a chart from the information that I selected. Now, this is obviously not what we're looking for here. So we're going to make a few adjustments uh, to um, the chart editor. So we're going to look through this. The first thing I'm going to look at is the X axis. So this is uh, the labels that go across the bottom. So at the moment, it is labeling these both by school district as well as by school. But I have way too many schools to evaluate right now. And so I'm only really interested in the aggregate of the school districts. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate or remove the school label. That'll help a little bit. But you can see my, my chart is just way out of whack here. It's not giving me um, the right graph. So if I look at the series data, uh, the series are the, the bars that actually stick up. You'll notice that it's um, creating a bar for grade and students. Those are two things I don't need represented because these are all fifth grade, so that's not helpful. I'm gonna remove that one. And I'm not really interested in the number of students that took the test either. I'm gonna remove that one as well. Once I do that, now the bars are the five categories that I'm interested in, again, grouped by school district. Now depending on what I'm interested in, I could go down here to the bottom like we did before and click the switch row column box. And that will show me 
a grouping by um, proficiency with the colors, the bars um, being the school districts. Same data, just a different view of it. So depending on what you're looking for, you can adjust that accordingly. Like we did previously, I'm going to go ahead and click the snowman in the right corner and say uh, move to own sheet. And then make sure uh, that you label this. I'm going to edit this chart. And um, we can go in and adjust the colors, uh, the fonts. I can do all kinds of uh, different things if I need to, uh, to customize this according to uh, my preferences. So that's a quick look at the custom chart editor in Google Sheets. Again, you want to select the data you're interested in graphing and then work through the chart editor, um, just selecting and deselecting the different elements until you get the chart that uh, presents your data in the best way.